everyone and welcome back to another episode of Friday Sews with me, Helen, and you are watching Stitch Rip Repeat. So I didn't do a Friday Sews last week, so this is going to be a two week catch up for you all. I did put out the video about my double unboxing, which as with everything else, I will pop the link for that in the description below so you can check it out if you haven't already. And I wanted to just say before I get on to what I've been up to, I didn't realise when I was doing my unboxing of the Guthrie Garney Sewing Society kit that you are supposed to have an A0 printout of your pattern pieces in the box. As I said before, this was my first time ordering one of the kit boxes. So you may have had their kit boxes before and wondered why I didn't mention it when I did the unboxing. But actually, I didn't realise until I was trying to download the PDF from the Sew Over It site and I was having problems the code I was given didn't seem to work. And so I contacted Guthrie and Garney and they did a, they did say that so over it were having some issues. But the lovely lady at Guthrie and Garney said that I could make a start because I had my A0 copy. And it was at that point I thought, oh no, I don't have an A0 copy. So Helen in the office at Guthrie and Garney was ever so lovely. And she was very apologetic that that wasn't in my kit box as it should have been. And she got it printed and sent out to me as quickly as she could so that was fantastic so if you do get a kit box um, you should have a0 copies of your pattern inside your box so I've now got my a0 and I've printed out the instructions for the Sylvia robe so I shall hopefully make a start on that very soon so I just wanted to say that before I forgot and started going on about what I've been up to recently. So the first thing that I wanted to tell you about that I did recently and haven't done before was I wrote a blog. And so I know a lot of you out there already do blogs or follow people that do blogs, but I've never done one before. And I was very excited to write this blog and it was for a website that's called We So Fabulous. And like with everything, I will pop that link down below in the description box for you so you can go and check it out. And that's run by Camilla and she is She So Fabulous over on Instagram. And she ran, she runs the site We So Fabulous. And it's really fantastic because she just asks anybody who sews and has anything that they want to blog about to just write a blog. And um, there's a real variety of really interesting and informative and fun blogs. So I really recommend you go check it out. And yeah, I'm on there now. So I was really happy to have written that blog. It did take me a very long time and I felt a bit like back at school when I used to write essays and then read through and strike it all out and start again. <laughs> but I'm quite happy with how it turned out. And I was really pleased to have been asked. So that was one of the things that I'd been up to that I hadn't done before. And then also at the same time, I was Miss July and I think I mentioned it, I'm not sure, but definitely you'll have seen it if you follow me on Instagram. And that was the calendar girls that, um, or men, that Shell over at So Affordable Fabrics has. And she basically sends out some of her fabric and you keep it secret. And then you make something up and send the photos to her. And then she puts it on her Facebook page and tells everyone about it. And then anybody who wants to can obviously go and buy that fabric and uh, she sent me a viscose jersey and I will show you what I made. Okay so the fabric that Shell gave me this lovely viscose jersey and it's in this combination of the navy brown sort of mushroom taupe colours and as you can see I made another Adrienne. So after I made the So Haley Jane you'll remember I really loved it and this was fabric I had at about the same time so I made this and um, yeah well the fabric is gorgeous it's so soft and so easy to work with I did um, two things that I'm pleased about the first one is I'm not sure if you can see from this but hopefully from the photos I cropped this one because as you recall I thought it was a little bit long when I made my first one so I took off an inch or an inch and a half and I'm much happier with the length but the one thing I'm really proud of is these sleeves. So I cut out one and then I lay down the cut out sleeve over the fabric so that I could fully match up. So hopefully you can see those sleeves are identical. 
and I'm really pleased that I took the time to do that. I think it's come out really well. I did also try my, I'm not sure if it'll show, um, pattern matching down the sides, which I came out all right. It's not perfect. It might be a few millimeters off, but to be fair, those big old sleeves cover up the seams most of the time. Uh, so yeah, that was really good. I love this. Unfortunately, I finished it right about the time that our heat wave hit. So I haven't had a huge amount of wear out of it yet, but I certainly will because it is so lovely to wear, so soft and comfy. So that was the first one. But because this fabric is actually a four-way stretch, I made a second item for Shell's Miss July. And what I did this time, I did the old favourite of the New Look 6217, which is one of my favourite easy because it's just the front and back. Uh, but I did the stripes going the other way. So I thought it could give people a chance to see that obviously um, I did the Adrienne going horizontally, but that you could just as easily make something and have the stripes going vertically. And uh, yes, I'm really pleased with those two outfits. And um, hopefully you've all seen from the photos. So that was my little shot at being a calendar girl. And the fabric, I'm not sure if it's still available, but I will link Shell's website uh, in the description for you to below to go and check out all the other fabulous fabrics that she has. So you may have been aware that the reason I didn't do a Friday Sews last week is because it was my daughter's birthday on the Sunday. And so I was busy getting ready for a, um, a day of celebration. And the main celebration was we were having a couple of close family members over for the day who my children haven't seen for over 18 months because of the whole situation. So that was really fantastic. And we had a great day and um, I took advantage while they were here to try this toile on uh, one of them and I'm making it as a present for them. It was meant to be for their birthday. Their birthday was back in March. <laughs> so I'm thinking they're probably gonna get it around Christmas now, but they're happy with that, it's absolutely fine. You won't be able to see it here um, properly. So I will probably insert a photo of the mannequin wearing the toile. But the toile is of the Rhapsody blouse by Love Notions. This is a pattern that I bought back when they were doing it as their $5 Friday pattern. And I absolutely loved it. I haven't made it up yet. So actually, um, the lovely lady who's receiving when I finish it, this blouse, will have tried it before I did. So um, I'm hoping she's happy with it. I made this toile and I'm very glad that I did because I graded certain areas to a slightly smaller size. And in actual fact, I should have just left them as the straight size that I cut out because when we tried it on, it was a little tight. So I'm going to make the very unusual step because this is for someone else of making a second 12. So that's something I've been working on and is an ongoing project. So I can't say when you'll see the final version, um, <laughs> but when you do, it will be in this gorgeous viscose fabric that I bought from Satisfaction, which I will show you when we do the big reveal. So that's something else that I've been working on. The next thing that I did, which I did on Monday because I was waiting in for a delivery, which never came by the way, not happy. However, while I was waiting, I thought I would take the uh, chance to do some sewing. Now, if you're in the UK, you'll know we've had a bit of a heat wave going on. And I don't really have a lot of lightweight summer clothes, so I tend to melt in the heat. So, you know I bought the sky dress and I showed you before two fabrics I was hoping to make that with. Well, Monday I sewed my very first sky dress. So I'll just go and get that. Okay, and it's not in either of the fabrics that I chose. This is another fabric which I have had in my stash for quite a while and was originally destined to be a jumpsuit, but I'm hoping you can see how gorgeous this fabric is. It is a blue tie-dye viscose fabric with these gorgeous white stars. And I absolutely love how this has turned out. Um, and I made the knee length version, but I'm not sure if you can see in these photos, but it's actually quite a bit below my knees. Now, to be fair, 
I haven't hemmed it yet. I've worn it out and about, <laughs> but I have not hemmed it. Um, so I'm not sure what length it will be when I finish, but I absolutely loved this. So I actually lined the bodice of this when it's meant to be finished with bias binding around the neck and the armholes. And the brilliant thing is that when I cut out this fabric, I was planning or thinking in my head about lining the bodice. And then literally that evening before I started any sewing, I watched the lovely Liz, who is the baker that sews and her makes. And one of them was the sky dress. And lo and behold, Liz had lined the bodice. So that was perfect timing because she then gave a link to the tutorial that she followed to line the bodice using the burrito method. And so I did exactly the same and I absolutely love, I'm hoping you can see how well that comes out because obviously it's lined with the same fabric. So it's got a lovely clean finish and that hopefully you can see my Kylie in a machine uh, sewing label there, which I absolutely love. Um, yeah, so that was really good that um, I managed to do that. I also did um, the other thing that Liz mentioned, which is I popped in some ties at the side. So if I want to give it a little bit more shape, I can pull them in at the back and um, tie them in a little bow. It has pockets, which is fantastic in a dress. And uh, yeah, this is easily my favourite make of the year so far. And at some point, I plan the maxi version in those two floral fabrics that I showed you um, previously. So yeah, I can highly recommend the Sky. And I have worn it quite a lot this week in this heat wave that we've been having. Um, I actually wore it on Tuesday when I went to my last sewing class at Make. They start up again in September, which is perfect because obviously children go back to school. So the funny thing about that was uh, it was very, very hot. It was, we had an excessive heat warning down here in the Southwest. And um, I was still sewing, uh, working on my Eden <laughs> jacket for my raincoat. So not what you would necessarily expect to be sewing in like 30 degree heat, but you know, there you go. So I have progress. As usual, I did an awful lot of catching up with people and chatting and maybe not so much sewing. I did go for lunch first um, with the lovely Angela, you all know from Devon Thread Tales, and then we went to the sewing class together. So um, that was absolutely lovely to catch up with her and then have the class with her as well. I have managed to do my flaps that are gonna go on the pockets on the outside of the coat. So they've got the lovely animal bias binding around them that I've done on the inside seams. So they're all ready. And the other thing I've done is I have nearly finished making the hood. So I have one hood, which, uh, oh, I've, I've clipped the facing parts ready to it. I'll just take them off for you so you can see. So I have one hood, which I think is looking really good. And all I've got to do with this one is I need to bind those seams with this lovely animal bias binding again. Um, and then once I've done those, there is a facing piece, which I'm not sure if you'll be able to see how well, but that basically goes all round the inside of the hood. And so on the inside I'll have that and I will put the bias binding around the edge of that and then tack it to the hood. So that's coming along really nicely. I'm in no hurry because of the weather and the time of the year, you know, to get this finished. I'm really enjoying working on it while I'm in class. So I'll be going back to that in September. So you probably won't see any more progress on my Eden jacket until I start the next bit of it when I go back to my class. So while I was at Make doing my sewing, I did happen to pop into the shop, which eh, may not have been the best idea <laughs> because I was trying to do the hashtag so five then buy, which I'd done two projects so far where I've sewn from my stash. And the idea was to sew at least five things before you buy any fabric. So I had my Adrienne 
in my So Hayley Jane fabric and obviously I have my Sky dress in the fabric, oh, which I didn't tell you, it was from the Textile Brothers and um, they'll be in the description below. However, I have told everybody on Instagram that I'm going to have to start again with my So 5 Then Buy because I bought some gorgeous fabric and I'm really pleased with myself because I'm trying to not buy just because it's pretty but I'm trying to buy with plans in mind and for that I have bought this gorgeous viscose crepe and it's a fabric godmother fabric and I mean just look at the tigers <gasps> it's called tiger mountain and I just absolutely love it now I have bought this with a specific make in mind now Alongside that, I have bought this, which, you know me, I'm going to have to put it on the screen what it is because I can't remember. It might be a linen slub, but it's in this gorgeous, which I hope it's showing up well, kind of rust colour, which I think personally picks up the colour in that really well. Now, I don't know exactly what top I'm going to make with this coordinating. However, the Tiger Mountain <laughs> is yet another make that is inspired by Liz's video the other day. She made some fabulous Sophia trousers in this yellow print. I can't remember what was on the print, but I remember it was yellow. I absolutely loved them. And I think that this Tiger Mountain fabric in a full length pair of Sophia trousers and um, a plain top to go with it is just going to be awesome and I'm really excited I am hoping to make that one of the next things that I sew up so that I get in the habit of buying fabrics to sew and not generally just to add to my stash however <laughs> having just said that I did buy this because it was a end of bolt um, so it was just under 1.4 metres of this gorgeous Ruby Star fabric. I love Ruby Star Society. And it is this. I'm hoping that will show up. So it is like an orange background with the pink leaves and then that gold all over it. And the gold is, I don't know if it's shown, but it's really shiny gold. And I'm thinking again that this will make a lovely top. Um, I don't think, obviously, I will be wearing it with my tigers. I don't know, some people would, but I think it might be a bit much for me. But with something plain, I think that will just be like, wow. So, yeah, so that is going to be my last fabric for a while. <laughs> and I'm going to sew some up. So I bought something else, which I was really pleased about. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know already. And it was this great British sewing beat from Stitch to Style. I can't remember off the top of my head which series this one is. I'm sure you guys will be able to tell me. But it's got all the pattern pieces untouched in the book there. And it has some fabulous patterns inside. Um, I'm just going to quickly see. I, I'll probably have to edit this because I'll never find it while I'm on to you, will I? But it's got a load of patterns. And then it's also got hacks for the patterns. And um, yeah, I just love it. I mean, it's it's got the colour block dress, which I'm trying to remember which series it was the one that Charlotte Newman won, um, or Charlotte, I hope that's her surname. Um, yeah, so I bought this from um, the app, I don't know if anybody of you heard of it, called Vinted, because when I looked this one up before, even though it's an older version, people were selling it for like £40, and it was only £25 new. So, um, yeah, I found this one on Vinted for £17, so I'm really chuffed with that. And the other thing that I bought was some more sewing labels. So I got a couple of packets of sewing labels and they came from Sew Anonymous, which if you'll recall, that was the um, extra item in my Sew Hayley Jane this month, which was a lovely card from uh, Sew Anonymous. And um, so I happened to glance on her website and saw these fabulous labels. So excuse the rustling. Um, you may well not be able to see these, so I'll probably have to put in photos. But this one says Seam Queen, which I think is fabulous. 
And then these ones are Aim for the Stars. And so, yeah, I've got those two lovely little packs to add to my vast collection of sewing labels. And then the last thing that I got was from the great guys over at Fabuloso, who you all know by now, I get my patterns printed for them. I did mention, I think, in a previous video that they are now doing these envelopes where they print out the details for pattern name, pattern company, notes, etc. So you can keep your pattern pieces in here after you've made your pattern up, which I absolutely love. Um, because some patterns come PDF only and therefore they don't come with any envelope like, you know, a regular paper, paper pattern. So I love these. These are a pound when you order. So I've been getting these with all of my, all of my uh, patterns recently. However, this one comes with a booklet of the instructions, which they also printed for me. So it's on an A5. And then obviously it's just the same printed instructions, um, which again, I often use the screen when I'm doing some sewing, but I really do like to have a physical copy of a pattern sewing instructions because I do tend to leaf through them and tick sections as I go along. And um, I find that sometimes a lot easier than trying to keep a keep a, a mind of where I am on the screen if I've got it on my iPad. And they print these booklets now if you ask them, if you upload the instructions for your pattern for £2.50. So again, I've got now, this PDF pattern is like a paper pattern because I've got the envelope, I've got the pattern pieces and I've got the instructions all in there. So I just wanted to give a shout out for the brilliant idea that they've come, come up with to not only print your pattern pieces, but also a envelope and the instructions as well so again they'll be linked down below and the last thing before I leave you guys today is just a thank you so this week I actually reached 3,000 subscribers on my channel and I know even as I'm saying it that just seems mad I am absolutely over the moon and so touched that you come back and watch my little channel and I love the fact that I'm able to get out to more people. And I really do hope to be able to put out lots of videos for you um, in the coming months. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Um, I'm really chuffed. I started it two and a half years ago. And my son will tell you, I literally burst into his room going, I've got 17 subscribers. And I was chuffed. <laughs> And um, so if you'd have told me then that two and a half years later, I'd have 3,000 of you wonderful people out there subscribing and watching my videos, I would have laughed. So massive thank you. I really, really love every single one of you for coming back to me time and again. I will leave it there on a happy note. And I hope that you all have a fantastic weekend. And I will see you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.